Hello everyone and welcome to the Passionate Piscator channel. Today I'm at Kingsham on the River Chew. Um, I walk past this little stretch of river here all the time by this bridge and I look off the bridge there and you can always see minnows and bleak and dace milling around in the water. The water here is really shallow so I thought as a 39 year old man I'm going to come down pretend I'm four <laughs> or five and uh, get into the water with Da, 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 da. my brand new dipping net which I've already had a little bit of fun dipping with a bit further up uh, further up further down stream um, I say dipping I didn't really do a lot of dipping because rather amusingly and I wasn't filming this as you can tell <laughs> there may have been a little incident <laughs> but there may have been a little incident of me falling in the water <laughs> sliding down the bank it's been raining the banks are slippery <laughs> It was, it was highly amusing. Didn't catch it on film, thankfully, so I don't need to put it on here. But you can imagine a big fat bald guy rolling down a muddy hill into the water. Great. Anyway, I've got my flip-flops on. Always wear something on your feet when you're going into a river or into any water. Because I'm sure there have been some local lads or whoever chucking bottles into the water here at some point. In fact, I can see a few over there already. You don't want to get any broken glass in your feet, or any sharp stones for that matter. And I'm going to wade in and see what I can find in amongst these stones. Hoping for a bullhead. Um, maybe there will be a few, I don't know, maybe a few minnows if I'm quick enough. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway, it's all good fun. <laughs> um, fishing is not all about catching a fish with a rod and line. Sometimes you just need to get your feet wet, get out the net, and just relive your childhood a little bit. <laughs> myself a little bucket of water ready I've already had a dog <laughs> jump in with me she saw I was going in and was like hey I want a piece of that <laughs> anyway let's get wading around right catching fish with a net and net isn't as easy as it looks I know this from experience if you've seen some of my other videos of catching bullhead and um, sticklebacks um, you'll know it's not as easy as it looks but I'm gonna do a few preliminary swipes into these minnows which I can see because I've got my polarised sunglasses on. Let's see how quick I need to be to be able to catch one. <laughs> Apparently, a lot quicker than I am. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I have usually 
If I swap hands with the camera, there we go. It's just bumping the net along the bottom because that agitates any bullhead usually. Let's have a look. Oh, a stonefish. But that is all. <laughs> yeah, that usually agitates the fish up off the bottom. Just bumping the stones. You don't want to destroy their natural habitat. So you've got to be fairly careful. Mm, nope, not a tiddler. I might need to head a bit further out into the stream. Let's go up, up here a little bit. Being careful of the stones. Oh, it is very stony. This is the bit the dog was jumping in, so I'm fully expecting there to be not a lot of fish <laughs> after that. Let's have a look, bro. You never can tell. Mm, no. Right, well, I'm going to keep pestering around at this and uh, we'll see how we get on. There we go. First fish of the day. I don't know if you can see him in there. Zoom in, zoom in. There we are. A little bullhead. Whee! <laughs> Let's pop you in the pot. <laughs> da, 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 da. Hard to do with one hand. Pop. Where is he? There he is. Lovely. Just what I thought would be here. Nice little bullhead in this lovely shallow water. Where's he going? There he is. Lovely little fish. Only a tiny one. But, there he is. <laughs> nice, let's get a few more. Now I've got my eyes tuned in, I can see a load of little, little bullhead milling around in the uh, shallows here now. Every step I take seems to disturb a few more. Off they go like rockets. I'm not doing a very good job of, um, of catching them, to be honest. There's an awful lot of water here. Ah, did I get that one? Of course I didn't. <laughs> of course I didn't. I'm too slow. I had to put the camera down and use both hands, I think, to get the speed. But I'm actually just walking along this little, um, little dam. It's made of these rocks along here. And I'm just... Um, sweeping the net in up into these rocks here and there's a few just get caught between the rock and the, the net and i think they swim back in through that way anyway it's good fun it's freezing cold the water's absolutely freezing <laughs> but but it's really good fun on a on a nice little uh, sleepy sunday like today oh there's one oh look some massive ones oh, i missed them all <laughs> I missed them all. Right, I'm going to, have to put the camera down and do some concentrating. Let's see if I can get a decent one, a really big one. Oop! <laughs> going to fall back in. There we go. That's more like it. Slightly bigger one. Let's pop him in the pot. Always important when you're doing this, if you've got a pot of water along the side of the river, to keep topping it up with fresh, because the air soon disappears out of pots like this, and you don't want to harm the fish. Can't really see him. Ah, there he goes. Nice. No monster, but certainly bigger than the little tiddlers I've been catching. Whoop! There we go. Lovely. Look at those big pectoral fins. Fantastic. Onlookers have been <laughs> watching me like I'm an idiot. I have been whooping with excitement, guys. Whooping. I've just caught a fish. That I've never caught in my entire life. I'm so excited. I'm going to show you to him. Show him to you now. I can't even get my words out. <laughs> Bend down here a little bit. There he is. This, my friends, is a stone loach. I have never caught a stone loach in my life. <laughs> there he is. Fantastic. Oh, I'm gonna need a closer look at this. 100%. Sorry, little fish. You're gonna have to be handled. <laughs> and there he is, guys. Look at that. 
a stone loach. Long, long fish. They get right underneath the rocks and hide in amongst them, feeding on little crustaceans and things, little worms, blood worms in amongst them. I am absolutely gobsmacked. I mean, I'm struggling to find the words to describe how excited I am. And I'm trying to hide it best I can because I've been whooping and <laughs> people are watching on the bridge. <laughs> oh, I, I can't believe it. A fish I have never caught in my entire life before. I know he's only small, but a fish is a fish. And what an absolutely magnificent fish. Look at the patterns, the mottled marbling. <gasps> Uh, anyway, I really need to pay more attention. Let's get you into the pot with the bullhead. Look at the bullhead I've managed to catch. In you go, buddy. Oh, so excited. <laughs> A stone loach. Wonderful. Remember how excited I was about catching those, <laughs> catch, catching that little stone loach. Oh, you got to see these guys. I'm, I, I lost for words. Lost for words. Look at the size of these donkeys. They're like little barbel. Absolutely. I, mean, I don't know what to say. I've caught so many fish through the years, and I suppose. I suppose it's the first time you catch a fish of every species, but I've been fishing for a long time now, and so the, the first timers become rarer and rarer. Put the net down over here. I'm gonna take some pictures. I'm gonna wave them, of course, but I am, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'll have a sit down and think about it later. But first things first, fish care. Let's get these fish in the, in, out of the net, wade, photographed and back into the water as soon as possible. Here we go guys, this guy's probably the biggest of the two. What an amazing fish, let's pop you down on the, in the traditional scales and see how much you weigh. Oh, give me 0 0.1, he's twitching. One free, he's so sensitive, it's hard to get a proper, really accurate reading. Give it a moment. 0.14, we'll call it 0.14, I don't know what that is in real terms. <laughs> Pop you back into the net there. Actually, we'll just wave the other one, just out of, uh, just out of interest. Just because he does look a bit smaller, doesn't mean he is. Look about the same size, they're so tricky to get hold of. Ah, oh, this one's uh, sort of a, a bit of a brighter uh, colour, mottling on these patterns. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. It's all right. What was it? In fact, he's exactly the same. <laughs> okay. It's absolutely wonderful. Look at that proper brace of fish. Gorgeous. I don't want to let them go. <laughs> I'll pop them into the little bucket, give them a little bit of a rest, and then I will release them. But I just need to watch them, look at them a little bit more. Definitely. There they are. In with the bullhead. <laughs> come back round, come back round. <gasps> look. Fantastic beautiful patterns on it very similarly patterned to a bullhead but just with more sort of blotches on 
as you can see there, just there, have a little tiny barbules it uses for feeding in amongst the rocks. Gets in all the little nooks and crannies and eats all the bloodworm and freshwater shrimp. Similar to the, uh, the bullhead, of course. There's the other one at the back there, and the little tiny one. How amazing. Give him a chance to swim off. <laughs> Look at those fins. Look at them from above. Get your breath back, buddy. We've got the other one here. There we go. Let them get their breath back. Hopefully, They'll swim off beautifully. Do you suppose there? Uh, I really don't know. I don't know these fish so well, but you suppose this one's got much bigger pectoral fins than this one. Do you think this one's a juvenile? Or do you think that one's a female and that one's a male? I really don't know. I'm going to have to do some research. <laughs> this is so exciting. It's all part of the joy of it. They don't really want to go, do they? Come on. Perhaps they're a bit shell shocked. Bit of an experience for him. Oh, there we go. Waking up a little bit. I've got very warm hands, of course, so they're probably thinking, what's going on? Anyway, I think you're about ready to go, buddy. There we go. <laughs> this one might need a little bit more time. Oh, fantastic. Are you ready to go? Go on, you've got to go some point. Yum. <laughs> Yeah. I suppose at the same time, I may as well release these little bull head and that little stone loach, little tiny one. Gorgeous fish yet again. Off you go. Oh, he's, he's raring to go, that one. Go on then. There goes the stone loach. Come on, bullheads. And off they go, little babies. <laughs> See if I can see them under the water. Oh yeah, there's still one there and one there. Yeah, they don't really shoot off, do they? Go on. I think they'd be raring to go. I think just, their primary concern seems to be hide and we'll swim off later. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Of course, it's obligatory if you're on a humpback bridge with a river flowing beneath it, if you're British particularly, to play a game of boo sticks. Eeyore, what are you doing there? said Rabbit. I'll give you three guesses, Rabbit. Digging holes in the ground? Wrong. Leaping from branch to branch of a young oak tree? Wrong. Waiting for somebody to help me out of the river. Right. Give Rabbit time and he'll always get the answer. But, Eeyore, said Pooh in distress, what can we... I mean, how shall we... Do you think if we... Yes, said Eeyore, one of those would be just the thing. Thank you, Pooh. Finally had a chance to calm down after catching those fantastic stone loach. Oh, so excited, I can feel it it's still in my heart. Just like, oh, amazing. 
Uh, I've uh, recently I've been I've had COVID, and so I've been stuck in my room for like ten days until I got over it, and I've been dying to get out and do a bit of fishing. Uh, I'm still not quite up. I'm all clear, but I'm still not quite up to the energy of of carrying all my fishing stuff around, which is why getting my little net out, just dipping in this little river here, uh, was was top of my agenda to to do it. It's been a hard slog, and it's been very tiring. But this has completely just washed all that away. Absolutely amazing. I can't wait to get back here again for some of those bullheads and some of those stone loach. Particularly those stone loach. Can't believe it's been all this time I've never caught one. But finally I have and I definitely want to get more. I've got, I've got a bug for it now. Oh, I'm just looking at um, a load of dace. <clears throat> Ooh. Just sort of uh, milling around down there. And they're rubbing themselves all against the, uh, the stones and stuff down there. Whether they're breeding or not, I don't know. Rivers are open, so um, I suppose breeding season's passed for them, really. But perhaps they're just flicking off little bits of uh, little bits of lice and things which are on them. But um, they are distracting me somewhat. Because <laughs> now I know they're there, I need to get a rod down here and catch some more, don't I? Definitely. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me on this beautiful day on the river. Uh, River Chew. It hasn't even been a day, it's only been a few hours, but it's been exactly what I needed. Oh, it's nothing quite like reliving your childhood a bit, getting into the water with a net and catching some really tiny mini species. Oh, I missed out on those minnows. There's tons and tons in there. I could see them, but I just wasn't quick enough. Oh, maybe I'm just COVID slow after uh, after having, having put up with all that. <laughs> anyway, like this video if you've liked it. Subscribe to my channel. There's loads more content with much bigger fish and loads more mini species as well. And I will see you on the bank another time. Thank you for joining me. Bye.